Hey guys, um, let's see here. I spent fifth, oh, about $1,500 total on computer parts because I figured, you know, um, I want to try see if I can build my, my very own computer. And I placed an order for just for that about, let's see here, uh, looking at my calendar. I think I placed it sometime after the 15th or on the fifth. Wait, no, that's not right. I got. Huh. You know what? Yeah, I. That's not right. You know what? Let's just say that I, I got. Um, I saved up enough money to buy parts and I ordered it about two or so weeks ago. Today is. What is today? Uh, August 28th and um, I bought like parts that I've been looking at uh, for a while to build a computer a multi multimedia computer not a gaming computer um, but yeah and I just got all of my parts that I needed so that right there's the case and then this is the Core i7 Intel processor um, i7 3770K LJ1155 is going to have a Z7 whatever bridge and everything and I will show what's inside these boxes later I also got my monitor earlier too just pa this past Wednesday on the 22nd of August um, along with a phone the Samsung Galaxy S3 so I spent quite a bit of money this past two weeks and um, now I'm about to take all of my parts out of the box put it all together show it and whatever and yeah we'll see, you know hopefully it works okay I just whoa focus first okay so I I just unpacked everything I'm sitting on the floor right now and oh my gosh look at this case so course air Obsidian 650D and I totally did not realize how huge this thing was like for reals it's a monster oh my gosh but in the end it'd probably be best it would benefit me in the end hopefully but look, look these are all my parts plus the monitor which is sitting over there so I have here 3.5 internal multi into input out Put card reader, um, 128 gigabyte crucial solid state drive, the Corsair Obsidian 650D mid tower ATX case. Um, I have 16 gigabyte of RAM here by, don't know how to pronounce that. Language, it's just going to say Geo Black Dragon whatever. HX 650 w, 650 watts Corsair power supply, the Asus Saber Tooth Z77 motherboard. Um, which is very popular and actually on new egg it got sold out and then I was like ah! But then I ended up buying from Amazon For about the same price and now we have of course the i7 30, uh, 3770k LGA level 55 processor 1.5 terabyte um, hard drive SATA uh, I believe that's SATA 3 uh, And then we have also Asus blu-ray 12 times whatever writer burner and these are my parts you guys it's freaking amazing oh my gosh all of this for 1550 plus the asus um vx whatever monitor i have there um but yeah my god hoping that this works so i have a keyboard and mouse in, in there and i'm actually if you guys are wondering i'm using my laptop right, right now to display to this monitor it's amazing this monitor I swear but yeah these are all my parts and I'm gonna put it all together real soon probably a time lapse if I can um, with this HD camera Canon um, Canon Vixia HF21 yeah <sighs> alright you guys so um, I'm gonna start you know putting it all together we'll see how things go
Okay guys, now that I have successfully did an external build after almost an hour, god dang I'm so stupid, I forgot one important connection to the motherboard, um, I'm going to start putting it into my Corsair Obsidian case. Yeah, so I'm just going to clear all that, cut, and then do another time lapse for you guys. Okay. Okay, so I mounted my motherboard onto my Corsair Obsidian 560T, and um, now we're going to re uh, wire all the cables through and everything, and we'll see how that goes. That will be another time lapse. That took another hour. This is going for two hours now. Okay. Okay, hey guys, um, hold on, there we go, now, um, what's it called, I'm going to stop the time lapse here for a bit, um, as I need to look up some information as to what the heck, like, I'm trying to find some connect connections that, I don't know, I don't know where they go, <laughs> um, I'm looking through these manuals, and, and I know you guys can't see, and you guys probably been looking at nothing for quite a while, so, apologize for that and it's been almost another hour um, I'm gonna research online on the internet um, where all these connections go see if my Z7 7 Sabertooth has them at all and everything and you know we'll see what happens stay tuned uh,
Okay, guys. Um, it's been like another, almost another hour, 50 minutes. I'm going three hours on this. Um, one, two, three. But I'm going to take a break now. Um, I'm going to let the time lapse again rest and um, take a small break. And we'll continue doing it. I'll continue doing this and like, take a shower and eat finish my food that I, you guys saw me eat earlier, but I have yet to finish, because I'm so into this right now, but yeah, hold on, I'll see you guys afterwards. Okay guys, I have just finished building my um, computer here in my Corsair Obsidian 650D. Alright, so let's just take a look here at how I did the cable management. It's pretty good. Um, as you can see, there's nothing too fancy in this machine. Everything is, this is the heat sink that came with the... Um, processor, the Core i7 um, 3770K, I think that's what it was. Um, where's the box for it? Does it stay on there? I don't think so. But yeah, um, 3770K LGA1155 um, processor there. And then that's pretty much the stock. There's no, I have no video cards whatsoever. I'm using the um, the, the onboard, whatever, HD graphics 4000, um, Intel, and everything. Um, so I pretty much have a lot of open expansions if I ever wanted to expand there. Um, I've got all my front panel LEDs and power switch, whatever, plugged in, hopefully correctly. Um, got my 650 watt. Corsair Professional Series, HX, whatever, uh, power supply unit, modular, so I got to choose which cables I wanted to put there, and I just kind of routed it to the back. Over here, we have a three and a half inch, um, 1.5 terabyte Western Digital, and hard drive, <coughs> 74, 74 or 72? 100 RPM, um, SATA 6, or 6 gigabits, uh, so that would be SATA 3 actually. And then in there is the Corsair um, SATA 3, 128 gigabyte SSD, solid state drive. Over here we have dual channel 16 gigabyte memory, 8 gigabit, gigabyte, sorry, a stick there. Um, and then everything's in the back, so we're gonna. F oh wait, sorry. One more thing. Um, this is a five and a quarter ASUS, 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 whatever you guys want to call it. Um, Blu-ray burner DVD drive. We also got here um, a USB 3.0, two of them, 
It's the USB 2.0 and a non-working FireWire port because um, I my the motherboard apparently does not have a 1394 port to be plugged in, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. So let's just turn this thing around. Oh, here in the back, see this is where my USB 3.0 kicks in. I also have the SATA 6 in he, um in the back too. There four USB 2.0 ports, two USB. Oh, one actually I have one more USB 3.0 port here, and then this is for the BIOS used for the flashback. HDMI port there. Not too sure what that is. So there's no VGA whatsoever on this. So if I wanted to go do a monitor, I would have to buy another video card. Or maybe possibly use that display port, whatever port that is. But it might not be supported. Uh, I wouldn't know much. And this is my first computer. Okay, let's open up the side. I just closed it in my time lapse as you saw. Uh, okay. Here's all the cables that we have here. The 6 gigabit cable except for the SATA 3. I have the hard drive currently unplugged because when I install my Windows, I'm going to install everything to the SSD, make sure that hard drive doesn't, you know, be conflicted. And then I used um, the this very useful um, rip wrap uh, tie, rip tie, rip wrap, whatever you guys want to call it, velcro like thing to do all my cable management here and everything. Yeah. And this is, that's pretty much what all this looks like. And then you can see my SSD there, my um, hard drive. And this takes a little, little effort to close because of all the crowded cables back here. But it closes. Mm, let's see here. Just uh, mount it on. Ooh, clip. There we go. All right. I'm also gonna put a um, what's it called? Three and a, three and a half um multimedia card reader in one of these bays, but I f totally forgot to get the car carriage for that, so I have a friend that will give me one later on, um, and that will be, I'll put that down there, as you probably saw in the time lapse video, uh, you probably saw me trying to put it on, but, um, you know, I, I couldn't figure out, like, a way to mount it on, even though it gave me mounting screws. Do I still have enough lighting? Oh, better with the light. Okay, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. I spent three hours putting this thing together. Um, it's well worth it. Because I learned a lot on my own. And I have um, my friend help too. Um, over Skype and everything. In case I need the extra help. Oh, one more thing. I want to close up the this side of the Corsair, of my of my tower here. This is a Corsair, again, 650D mid tower ATX. So let me just put this on. Just like that. And there you can see the inside of my machine. Of course, in the video it's being reflected off my thing. Maybe if I shine the light. There we go. Now you can see more inside. And this is in the way. But yeah, there we go. It's a nice build, yeah? Okay. And I did do a test boot. It boots up fine. I gotta do another one. Just to make sure all of the components are working. And in order to install my windows. Um, and everything. So I just gotta pop that. I have an All Editions OEM. CD for Windows 7. I'm probably going to put Professional on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll... I'd prob I might... I, mm, I would go Ultimate, but I don't know if I really do need to go Ultimate, you know. But it's optional. But I'm just, you know, I'm just going to go with Professional. That's good for me. Okay. And so I'm going to go install Windows on here. 
Um, and yeah, this has been the build from my first build of my very first uh, computer. And hopefully, it'll prove to be, you know, very, very great. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, so, I will see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Um, it's been officially three hours since I built, but this video is like only not that long because, you know, why would you guys stick around for three hours on YouTube to watch this, huh? Yeah. So, um, this is taking up a lot of my memory. Uh, hopefully, I can't, I have enough space to edit it. I'll probably be editing this on my new computer and everything. So, um, yeah. That's about it. And, yeah. See you guys later.